in this session we are going to learn about the classification technique called support vector machine or svm we are given n data pairs of the form xi yi where xi is the input variable and yi is the output variable or label or class of our input variable xi and here xi belongs to a d dimensional space and for the case of support vector machine the class of xi that is yi is denoted by minus 1 and 1 and this is different from other classification techniques where we normally denote the two classes by 0 and 1 and here this minus 1 and 1 have a special use that i will describe later the support vector machine classifier assumes that the data is linearly separable and by linear separability we mean that there exists a hyperplane such that all the data belonging to a particular class lie on one side of the hyperplane and a hyperplane is nothing but higher dimensional generalization of what is a line in 2d or a plane in 3d and a hyperplane basically divides the space into two parts for example the two dimensional data consisting of blue dots and pink dots shown in the figure is linearly separable because i can draw a line such that all the data belonging to a particular class lies on the one side of the hyperplane so for example here the blue data lies on the right side of the line and the pink data lies on the left side of the line however if our data is linearly separable then there will be infinitely many such lines or hyperplanes that will partition our data so which of the hyperplane should we select and support vector machine helps us identify the best hyperplane that is the one that lies in the middle of the separation between the data by maximizing the margin that is why it is also called maximum margin classifier so now what is the margin the margin of hyperplane is nothing but the distance of the closest point in the data set to the hyperplane so for example here if i look at this hyperplane with respect to our data set then this is the point which is closest to the hyperplane and the distance of this point from the hyperplane will be the margin and before i get into the mathematics of support vector machine classifier let us understand some geometrical concepts let's say this is our hyperplane and w is the unit normal vector to our hyperplane and if this hyperplane is at a distance minus b from the origin and here note i'm saying the distance is minus b and that i will explain in a moment but if the distance of the hyperplane from the origin is minus b then equation of the hyperplane will be of the form w dot x plus b equals to 0 and distance of a point xi from the hyperplane will be absolute value w dot xi plus b now any point which is lying in the side in which the unit normal points will have a positive distance to the hyperplane and the points lying on the opposite side will have a negative distance to the hyperplane so here when i say the distance of the hyperplane is minus b from the origin the magnitude of the distance is b and this minus sign shows on which side of the hyperplane does our origin lie with respect to the direction of unit normal to the plane and because we always want the distance to be positive we use the absolute value sign to make the distance positive so here this expression is the distance of point xi from the hyperplane and in this expression we are finding the distance for all the points in our data set and choosing the minimum distance that is the margin for hyperplane denoted by w and b and 
the arg max over w and b with magnitude of w equals to 1 because w is a unit vector learns the hyperplane for which the margin is maximum and here this constraint basically ensures that the data is linearly separable now there is one thing that people often wonder about and that is what is the meaning of support vector in support vector machine so our svm classifier or svm hyperplane is obtained by maximizing the margin and there will be points in our data set in both the classes that will be at a distance equals to maximum margin from our svm classifier and if these points were not there then our hyperplane will adjust slightly to maximize the margin so these points in a way determine the position of the hyperplane or we can say these points support the hyperplane and prevent it from moving around so that is why these points which are at a distance equals to maximum margin from our svm classifier are called support vectors and these points also determine the boundary of each class that is all the points of the class lie beyond boundary determined by these points one way of finding support vector machine is to find the value of w and b that maximize the margin with the constraint yi w dot xi plus b greater than zero an alternate way of solving the same problem will be to find values of w and b that will minimize the square of magnitude of normal vector w with constraint yi into w dot xi plus b greater than equal to one and here note that the w naught and b naught obtained in this way will not be same as w and b obtained by maximizing the margin so we can get the unit vector and the value of b by dividing w0 and b0 by magnitude of w naught and here note that the svm obtained in this way is called hard edge svm because it assumes linear separability of data which is a hard condition that is one without any relaxation however linear separability is a difficult constraint for data to satisfy and to overcome that we have a softer version of support vector machine which is called soft svm and in the next lecture we will learn about that